Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Art Art 2. <laughs> Celebrating Act 2. Um, you know, Art and I love books. We love entertainment. We, we review movies and stuff. But we love books and authors. Uh, we've done a lot of authors interviews over the years and book reviews. And uh, we've got a couple coming up that you need to know about. Yeah. And by the way, they are two of our favorite authors, Herbert J. Pilato and J.A. Right. Chance. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Art, you have our old interviews with both of them up on our website, celebratingact2.com. As, as playlists. As, as playlists. So yeah. you can you can always go there and watch the old interviews about their books in the past. I shouldn't say old because they're all pretty recent. Um, so t let's talk about Herbie first because we're going to post our interview with Herbie, uh, Herbie J. Pilato, and his new book about Diana Rigg, the famous actress. Uh, we're going to post it on Tuesday the 10th, right. next week. I uh, hope you watch it. Of course, after the 10th, it'll be available um, on our website. But let's talk about Herbie. Um, Art, you're a big fan of Herbie J's and his books. Yeah, I, I'm actually a, a great fan of uh, him personally as well, as we've developed a relationship over the years. Uh, because we first started interviewing him just about uh, his, uh, his, his life in... Uh, uh, basically is an expert on TV, uh, right. particularly early TV. Uh, and of course, all of the books uh, that come out, well, most of them have dealt with either Liz Montgomery, in this case, Diana Rigg, because of her uh, early uh, TV series, although she was a, yeah. a wonderful actress in, 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 on stage as well. Uh, but he's just a terrific guy. I mean, just pure out and out. If you wanted to have somebody you could depend on, who be a straight shooter, who doesn't have a whole lot of airs about himself, but is in the business, Herbie Pilato is one of the guys you want to know. Right, right. He's a, a producer, he's an actor, and mostly, I for me, he's an author. He's, a, yeah. he's written a, easily a dozen books. Um, but this latest one is on Diana Rigg, and it is a fascinating book. First of all, Herbie does his homework. As an author, he is a great researcher. Mm -hmm. Um, and there is, there is material in this book that I don't think anybody ever knew about Diana Rigg. Wonderful actress, classically trained actress. All I knew was that she was Emma Peel in the Avengers. Right. Um, and of course that's what made her famous. And of course she ultimately, uh, recently, more recently appeared in Game of Thrones. Uh, and what a difference from Emma Peel <laughs> in the Avengers. But Herbie does a great book. It's a fun read. It's filled with details. And uh, we get to talk to him. He's a great storyteller. So the interview yeah. itself is worth watching. Yeah, the uh, way he, well. the, by the way, the way it's, uh, we uh, recently we did, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Connery, Sean Connery. Yes, uh, yeah. And, and the research that he did on that was just absolutely amazing. But yep. the way he weaves it all together as a as a story, because he knows all the different bits and pieces that were happening simultaneously, contemporaneously yeah. in this person's life. And he weaves them all together to make sense of why a certain decision was made or not made to do certain things. So you'll really yeah. enjoy the book. Yeah, really. He, he's a wonderful biographer, mm. uh, to put it mildly. So our other interview, which is not scheduled yet, we're going to meet with J.A. Jantz. Right, And uh, we're going to probably uh, have that interview ready to go next month sometime. And J.A. Jantz, if you don't know her work, she's very prolific. She's written, I think, Art, you know the number, 70 novels or more? Yeah, over 70. It's about 72, 73. And she's, um, unlike uh, Herbie, who does pretty much reality uh, uh, stuff, J.A. does all fiction. Um, and she's got a bunch of characters. She's got, out of her 70 books, you know, the 20 are devoted to J. P. Beaumont, who's right. a detective in Seattle, um, and twenty are devoted to uh, another character, and so on and so forth. So we've talked to J. A. a couple of times about her different books. She's very prolific. She's a lot of fun. And by the way, she's over seventy years old and, and still writing. And she didn't write publish her first book till she was thirty-eight. 
And there's a there's a whole backstory. You can go to jajance.org or there's a whole bunch of things. She has a I think a weekly blog, which is fascinating, which yes. talks about she writes about two books a year, but this is yeah. like week to week, different things that are influencing us, some about the book, some just about personal life. She's a terrific person, a very, very stunning backstory about how she was held down for the first yeah. thirty-eight years. Uh, yeah. And and go search yourself and look at her background. We actually interview our first interview with her. I think had a lot of that background in it. But now we're interviewing her on about a fifth book uh, that uh, of recent uh, release. And um, well, uh, fifth fifth for us. Our fifth, well, the fifth, fifth for us. But about seven. And I've read them all. I think John, you've read them all or virtually all. I, of them. I've I've read them. I've read her whole series. Yeah. This is the new book. It's just out for early release, so we've got a, an early copy to read. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a J.A. Beaumont, a J.P. Beaumont novel. That's one of her characters, and right. he's a great character. But she brings it back, as, as many of the authors in this in this genre do, but she does it in a special way. She brings back a lot of uh, characters from the past yes. uh, to yeah. help uh, Beaumont as he... Uh, is now investigating uh, still another, uh, in, in this particular case, an unsolved uh, cold case file. So it's really it's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. And and it's great. If you're a fan, you don't have to have read all 25 J.P. Right. Beaumont novels uh, because she kind of keeps you uh, up to date in each novel. Uh, so wonderful writer, a lot of fun, easy reading and um, and so much to uh, so so much depth to her her stuff. So we're going to interview her soon and we'll post that interview probably next month sometime. So right. two author interviews, keep in touch with us. Be sure to watch Celebrating Act Two and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if you like this individual uh, episode, hit the like button. Don't be, don't be <laughs> shy. Okay. Well, well, you like us, we like you. We'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.